Practice Independently by p r a p a i s a n v i s a l o narrated by u s a b a d i s i n g t u s e n I would like to recommend independent practice. Independent of what? First, be independent of time. When you walk or practice, do not worry about the time. Some practitioners set the time, saying they will walk or sit for one hour. Then they set the clock in front of them. This will make hell out of practice, because they are concerned about the time, whether they have completed the hour or not. Even with 30 minutes left, they still worry. They are anxious about when they will reach the hour. Do not worry about the time or the clock. Practice without any references, allowing your mind to get in touch with mindfulness or awareness. Sometimes you are also concerned about other people. Why does this person walk so quickly? Why does she walk so slowly? You keep asking and comparing yourself with other people, and you are not sure. Whether it is good for you to walk slowly or quickly, that is why you should practice independently, unconcerned with other people. You have to find your own way, the suitable speed or suitable pace for yourself. Everybody has his or her own way of practice. Please ignore what other people do; just be concerned with yourself. Another thing that may cause you anxiety is the notion of awareness, or the concept of mindfulness that you have had before. Then, when your experience does not fit with that notion or idea, you feel unhappy and uncertain. You feel unsure about the practice. So, forget whatever notions you may have about mindfulness or awareness. Even words by the master or the teachers. The master sometimes said that awareness is like this and mindfulness is like that. If you become attached to these words, and if your experience does not fit with these words or ideas, you feel unhappy. When I first practiced, I was confused too. For one master said you had to be aware like this. But the other master said, "You had to be aware like that." So I was bewildered and said to myself, "Which one is the real awareness?" It is difficult to explain what awareness is like. You cannot convey your awareness by words, but have to know it from your own experience. This is true even of color. For example. When you look at my robe, you know exactly what color it is. But to express it out loud, people use different words. Somebody says it's yellow, but others claim it's orange. Different people use different expressions, even for the same thing. Therefore, ignore these references. The fourth thing to be independent of. Is the previous results that you may have obtained the day before? You may experienced calmness or achieved wonderful practice. Today, you will want your practice to be the same. That is another kind of reference that you should avoid. If you have such references, or if you are concerned with the past results, you may be unhappy. So. Ignore the results of the past and start again at the present moment. The previous results is already the past. Ignore it. However good your experience was, be it calmness or tranquility, do not try to repeat it again, or you will be disappointed. Why? Because you have some expectation, and expectation. Makes your mind out of balance. To practice like this, balance is crucial. You have to keep your mind in balance, 
Desire or expectation tends to put your mind out of balance. So forget whatever happened to you, even your expectations, because when you expect something, you have preconceived notions about it. If the experience does not conform with that idea, you tend to reject the experience. There is a story that is very instructive. An individual on a sinking boat prayed to God for help. Being very devout, he sincerely believed that God would help those who have faith in Him. During his prayer, a lifeboat came by and asked him to join. He said, "No, I believe God will help me." Because he never ignores those who have faith in him, so the lifeboat left him behind. One hour later, the sea level was already at his chest. A fisherman's boat came. He said, "No, God will help me." Another hour later, the sea level was already up to his neck. This time, a patrol boat came. He replied again, "No." So he drowned and went to heaven. When he met God, he asked, "God, why did you forsake me? I prayed for you even at a time of crisis." God replied, "You fool! I sent three boats to help you. Why didn't you take the boat?" The man expected a miracle. In reality, no miracles happen. God's action is not miracle. He works through ordinary events. So, with expectation, the person rejected even the help of God. Therefore, do not be too concerned with expectations, or you will reject the experience that you have already achieved. Just work. Independently of expectation, and try to get in touch with real awareness through direct experience. When you get a result, it will be the true outcome of your practice. Do not bother with miracles or preconceived expectations. Questions: How can you forget everything and not have any expectations or references? Answer: It can be done through repetition. In the first hour, it may not be easy to forget, but if you practice more and more, you'll feel in harmony with the practice, and then this notion will pass away. Nevertheless, you have to do it repeatedly, over and over again. Then a new kind of habit will develop. The habit of letting go and forgetting expectations. Question, but that is very very hard. Answer, it is possible if you try to be at the present moment. I found that when I felt in harmony with the practice, I didn't care about the rest. To be in harmony with the practice takes time. But it is possible. We call it to be at the present moment. When you have developed that habit of being at the present moment, you will be less distracted by expectations, by time, by schedules, or by other people's practice. Question: Are you suggesting that we should totally ignore the previous experience? Answer: I suggest you do that when you start the practice. However, when you finish, you may review and think about which is the right way. During practice, try to be at the present moment. Otherwise, your previous results will distract you from the practice. Anyway, when you have been practicing for a long time. You will inherit some habits or some tendencies, and that is the most important thing. 
more important than something in your mind. Take swimming, for example. Thinking or recalling the instructions doesn't help you much when you are swimming. You have to be at the very present moment. Whatever you do will become a tendency or habit in you. Once you know how to swim, it becomes your second nature. It becomes a part of you, no matter how much time has passed. Maybe ten years, but you still know how to swim because it has become your nature. Mindfulness or practice is like that. Once you know how to adapt your mind to be aware of the present moment, it becomes your nature. You may give up the practice for a while, then come back. In the beginning, it is difficult, but after you practice for a few minutes, it will come back. I call it a habit. For me. When I practice, I never think much of the results. I only think this will form a new habit. Once the habit has developed, it is easier to practice. This is how you train children to take a bath or to brush their teeth. At first, they refuse, but you just push them to brush their teeth. Then. It will become their nature, and they will go to the bathroom to brush their teeth on their own. Mindfulness is like that. In the beginning, your mind follows the thoughts and never comes back, but you call it back. Second time, it goes again. You follow the thoughts and call it back. The third time, it will come back quicker, but still takes a long time. Try to call it back all the time, many times. Then it will return faster and faster, and the unintentional thoughts will become shorter and shorter too. In the beginning, it is like a train with twelve cars of thoughts. After practicing for a few days, there are only ten cars left. The train of thoughts becomes shorter and shorter. At the end, there's only one car of thoughts, because your mind becomes faster. It's the habit of the mind when it has been trained. This is what mindfulness is. You needn't stop the thoughts, for your mind will come back on its own.